Hello everyone, Tina here. I hope your day is going wonderful. Thank you so much for joining me. Today I'm going to create a project for Newton Snook Designs and we're using a brand new stamp set called Snowman Greetings. This is a brand new release um, over the, the Newton Snook Design shop that just arrived. So I encourage you guys to head on over and check out the new release. There's lots of fun stamp sets. This is perfect for winter. This is so cute. It has a, it has a snowman and then it has a plaque. And then there's sentiments that will fit inside that little wood plaque that he's holding. There's sentiments that say, no one else like you. Welcome. Let it snow. Here's snow cool. And hello winter. The coordinating dies are available also. Um, it'll cut out the main image and then both the snowflakes there you can see. So it is a 4 by 4 stamp set. So the price point is good, but we're going to jump in and get started on doing some stamping. I'm going to bring in my Misty for my card today. Um, we're going to be doing some re-stamping. Um, so I have a piece of white card stock. We're going to place this in the Misty and I'm making sure it's um, in that corner really good because this way when I replace it, I know exactly where to stamp. We'll take the large image pick it up with the lid of our Misty, and then I'm going to be using my Memento Tuxedo Black ink to stamp it. I'm going to stamp a few times to get a nice crisp image, and then I'm going to leave my stamp inside my Misty, and then this way when I'm done coloring, I can come back and re-stamp um, with my Versify and Onyx Black ink to give it a more crisp color. But there's my image. I'm going to zoom in. Today's coloring medium, I decided to bring in my watercolor pencils. These are This is a really nice set that has lots of um, fun colors. And I thought it'd be really... I actually love these um, because you can use them without water or you can use you can dip your pencil tip in water and it'll get a real vibrant color. Or you can use a paintbrush and dilute it a little bit so they're real versatile. But I'm going to do a little bit of coloring. Um, my first step is coloring the image with the pencils lightly, just going over it and adding shading and detail where I want it. And then um, when I'm done with this part, I will um, talk to you a little bit about the next part. But I'll play some music and when I'm done, I will catch you back. Okay, after we have our color down, now is the fun part. I had a number four paintbrush. I think I'm gonna switch it out for a number two, which is smaller um, because there's some intricate e details even in the checkered um, on the hat and the scarf. But this is the fun part. All you do is dip it in water. I just used my Distress Sprayer, sprayed a little bit of water in my, my container here. You don't need much. And then you just spread out the color. Easy peasy. Um, I actually stamped on Bristol Smooth cardstock, and I don't think that this was the best cardstock um, to do the watercoloring on. I think hindsight, maybe I should have used a watercolor cardstock. Um, when I went over the scarf with my paintbrush, um, I muddled the colors, and the memento bled a little bit. A uh, little bit. It, it it smeared, kind of made it um, not very bright, but um, muted it down quite a bit you can see here but I think you can fix that 
So I'm gonna add a little bit more water to my container, just spread out the color. And basically this is it, easy peasy. I'm gonna go ahead and do my little wood piece. As I did my wood piece, I think I diluted it a little too much um, because it wasn't as strong. Or maybe I picked up too much with my little towel there. But after we have this done, I'm gonna go ahead and intensify the color. Easy to do with these pencils. All you do is dip the pencil inside a little, um, inside water, and then um, go um, dip the pencil in the water and then put the pencil directly to paper. And it just brings um, more of a vibrant color to your image this way. I'm gonna go ahead and do that to um, almost all of the, st the checkered area of the image and then it's gonna just bring it back to life. Take away some of that memento smeared ink. <laughs> um, in the intro, you'll see I did two cards. The first um, the first card that I did, I did a no line water coloring. Um, it was with the blue card. Um, I didn't, I skipped that for the video tutorial, but if you wanna see still shots of that card, just go ahead and head on over to my blog, guys. Um, it was just basically I stamped um, with a lighter ink, like a tan ink, and did a no line um, watercoloring with the same pencils too. It was easy with the pencils. I'm just intensifying the wood color here with my pencil. And when you dip the pencil in the water, it's actually, um, it colors so smooth. It just glides. It's, it's crazy how smooth it colors. But I'm happy with this, but I think I need to blend out that wood piece a little bit more. So I'm gonna add, add a little water to my paintbrush and just spread this out. And then I think we'll call this good. Um, love the bright pinks for this little snowman. I did use my um, heat gun and I uh, made sure my panel was super dry. We're gonna put it back in our misty, tucking it in that corner again. It's actually a mini misty. Um, and then I'm gonna grab my VersaFine Onyx Black ink. We're gonna ink up this image nice and then we're gonna re-stamp it and it's gonna line up beautifully, but it's just gonna crisp up the lines on my image. Make it a little bit more vivid. <laughs> okay, that is good to go. We'll set this aside. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and stamp my sentiment inside that little wood piece. Making sure this panel's really dry. I'm going to grab my sentiment. For this card, I chose No One Else Like You, which is really cute. And then um, for my No Line Watercolor card, I used a Welcome. But we'll pick this up. I'm going to treat my wood piece here with my anti static powder bag, um, just in case I did get some damp areas on there. And then I'm going to ink up my sentiment with Versamark ink, stamp it right in the center. Lovely. We're gonna go ahead and take our white embossing powder and I'll go over my image, my sentiment actually. <laughs> and then using my heat gun, we'll melt it and it is good to go. I love the way you put the sentiment in this, in the, the, um, that little wood piece, it's so cute. Um, before we die cut it out, I do want to add a little bit of white detail with my white gel pen. Basically, I'm just highlighting like the, the, um, the hat of my snowman and the scarf, a little bit of the glove too, and then a little bit of the nose. And I did add dotted detail to the little cardinal there that was sitting on the sign. I like doing this when the image or in colors are really dark. I'm going to take the coordinating die and die cut out my snowman. Just tape it down. My paper warped a little bit when I dried it with the heat gun. So when I die cut it, it's gonna be nice because um, it's gonna flatten it a little bit. I'm gonna tape down the other side too. And then that is Snowman. It's the only image we're gonna use for our card today. <laughs> so I'll put him aside. I'll show you close up the little highlights. And I love the bright pink. <laughs> okay, we're gonna do some die cutting. So I'm bringing in a couple sets here. I have the framework um, framework die set. I'm gonna take the, the second from the largest piece and then I'm gonna take the scallop piece which is the largest and die cut out my panel with white cardstock. Um, I used a pale pink 
with the second largest um, die there. It has a little bit of rounded corner and stitch detail, which I like. Now I'm gonna ink blend on the pink. I've did this before and I love the effect. Um, I'm gonna bring in my oxide inks. I'm gonna start off by blending the outside edge with my um, pink raspberry, keeping with the pinks here. And then um, after we have the, um, the panel outlined with picked raspberry. I'm going to add a little bit of a darker color. Um, I'm going to bring in candied apple and we're kind of going to go heavy along the edges here. Just kind of turning it. Since there's no oxide ink in the middle of the cardstock, I can hold it and twist it from the inside without getting inky fingers and that's kind of nice. <laughs> Usually I can't do this without getting inky fingers. Okay, now um, I added a little bit more of my picked raspberry going over it and um, it wasn't blending as much as I wanted it to, maybe because it's not um, Bristol Smooth cardstock. Um, so I'm bringing in my sponge sugar and a blending brush and then I'm just gonna kind of circle it in the middle and then kind of spread it out. And I was happier with the way this looked. Maybe I just need to add a little more, a lighter color to that middle. Okay, I wanted a pink snowy background, so I'm gonna use some some spray. This is a white ink spray. I'm just gonna spray it a few times. This pulls back quite a bit. It's not a very vibrant white, so I'm gonna bring in a little bit of white acrylic paint. I'm just gonna add a little bit to my acrylic block here. And then um, this is uh, actually just a little container that I put it in, um, in my drawer next to me. I have a little storage that will hold that hold that size of bottles so I just put my cheap white acrylic paint um, in that little bottle <laughs> but anyway I'm I thinned it out with water now I'm taking a paintbrush and adding some splatters and then off screen I did another one um, just because the acrylic paint does take a long time to dry um, and so we're going to use the one that I have already dried. In the meantime, I'm taking the leftover piece of pink cardstock. I added a little bit of picked raspberry to it. And then I stamped the, the largest snowflake five times with my Versamark ink. We're going to go ahead and use the heat gun and melt it. And then I'll use the coordinating die for the snowflakes and die cut five snowflakes out. I'm going to add foam adhesive behind all the snowflakes so they're ready to go. And then we're gonna build a card here. I'm gonna go ahead and take my pink panel. We're gonna add adhesive behind it and place this on top of our scalloped edge panel. For my very uh, for my other card, I used the um, frames and no the frameworks. This is the frame and flags die set that I created my panels with. My very first card with the no line water coloring, I used the um, framework die set. Has a postage edge um, for the largest die. But I'm adding some twine around the very bottom with the postage edge um, for the framework and the frames of flags die. The largest one is easy because you have that scalloped edge or you have a postage edge and your twine will go around it beautifully. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and pop it up with my fun foam, add it to an A2 size card base, and I tied a bow to the left, you can see there. We're going to take our snowman and place him all the way to the bottom. I did add foam tape behind him as well. I'm going to trim this ribbon a little bit more. Next we're going to place our snowflakes all around our snowman here. And then for finishing touches, I'm going to bring in some, um, these are icy sparkle crystals. They kind of look like snowflakes in different sizes. So I'm just going to use my glue and add um, the smallest one to the center of the snowflakes. And I'm going to add the largest ones kind of in the area in the background. But I think the background's busy enough, so I think this is all we needed to do. That will complete my card today using the Newton's Nook Designs Snowman, greeting, Snowman Greetings uh, stamp set. So cute. I love this guy. I love snowmen anyway. They just make me happy. <laughs> but I'm going to show you um, my No Line Watercolor card. Basically, I use the same pencils, same design, but just different colors. Um, 
let me grab that for you so you can see it. But if you want to see still shots too, guys, you can visit my blog. But um, there's my no line one with the blue. So thank you so much for joining me. I encourage you guys to check out the brand new release over at the Newton's Nook Design Shop. Lots of fun stuff over there. Have a great day. Thank you so much for joining me. We will see you soon. Bye-bye.